Today we're going to look at how we substitute um, in expressions. So when one variable is isolated, we can substitute what it is equal to in its place in another equation. Now hopefully this will make a little bit more sense as we go. For example, we're going to go kind of through the comp more complicated steps at first. At a water park, the profit in dollars, which is P, at the concession stand depends on the number of visitors, which we will refer to as V. The equation below models this relationship. So profit equals $3.50 per visitor minus 400. In order to predict the number of visitors V based on the probability of rain R, this equation is below is used. The number of visitors is equal to 700 minus 600 times the percent chance of rain. So this first question says, if the probability of rain is 25%, what could we expect our profit to be? So now we are going to take a look here um, and we have to actually be able to use both to figure this out. So I am going um, with my rain at 25%. So I know anytime I deal with a percent, I have to change it to a decimal. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is figure out, we'll see if we can get this. I'm going to have to figure out how many visitors we will have. So, because, because the percent chance of rain is the information I have, and that's the only um, equation I have R in. So I'm going to go, my number of visitors is 700 minus 600 times the percent chance of rain. So 600 times 0.25. All right, so I take my calculator and I do 600 times 0.25. And I get 150. So 700 minus 150. Is 550. So I can expect 550 visitors when the chance of rain is 25%. Now I can use that information to plug it into um, and figure out what my profit is. So profit is going to be $3.50 times the 550 visitors minus 400. So now I take $3.50 times 550 I get 1,925 minus 400, which leaves me with $1,525 as my profit. Now, if I start my um, with a different question, what if we start with the profit? So now we are told the profit is $625. What is our chance of rain? So I'm going to fill in 625 as my profit. And I'm going to take 3.5 times the number of visitors minus 400. And I need to solve this equation. So we're going to add 400 to both sides, which gives me 1,025. And then I'm going to divide by 3.5. And I see, I get, I get a decimal number. So we're going to round it. We're going to say that's 292. And the reason we round down, I really got 292.85, but we don't do parts of people. So we're just going to say the number of visitors is 292. Now that I know my number of visitors, I can actually calculate the probability of rain. So if the number of visitors is 292, 700 minus 600 R is going to give me the um, percent chance of rain. So from both sides, I'm going to subtract my 700. All right, we're having a little issue here. Let's see if I can fix that. 
I'm going to take away the 700. So 292 minus 700 is negative 408. All right, so when I did 292 minus 700, I got negative 408. So then I have equals, and I bring down this minus 600R. So now to get R alone, I divide both sides by a negative 600. And when I do that, I get R equals 0.68, which means a 68% chance of rain if the profit is 625. So you'll notice we had to do two uh, kind of long steps to get there. Well, the beauty of substituting is that we don't need to do two separate equations. Instead, we can join our equations together. So, I see here that both of these equations have a V, and that's the important piece. And I see that V equals 700 minus 600R. So, I am going to take this right here. So, in this first equation where I see V, I'm going to substitute what I circled here. So, P equals... 3.50. Now I see V, so in its place I'm going to put 700 minus 600R. And then I still have that minus 400. All right, now I've got to use distributive property. So I'm going to take $3.50 times 700, and when I take 350 times 700, I get 2,450. Whoop, I must keep touching something I shouldn't be touching. Sorry about that, guys. 2,450, and then I'm going to take the 350 uh, times 600, and I get 2,100R, and now I still have that minus 400. So now if I work to combine like terms, I'm going to take 2,450 minus this 400, and I get 2,050 minus 2,100R. Now remember, I'm going to try to solve this problem up here, and they tell me that my profit is 625. So in order to solve this, I'm going to set my profit equal to 625. And then I've got equals, maybe. Sorry, once again, we have just have some issues. Equals 2,050. Wow. All right, now my class is getting loud here. 2,050 minus... I'm not sure what I keep touching, guys. Sorry. 2100R. All right. So now, in order to continue this, I am going to um, subtract 2050 from both sides. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. Something's not quite right. So now I'm going to take 2,050 away from both sides. And when I do that, 625 minus 2, 2,050 is a negative 1,425, which equals a negative 2,100R. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2,100 and I get R equals 0.68. So a little less work than what was above, um, but I get the exact same answer, 68%. So instead of doing two separate equations, I can substitute and combine those equations to get the same answer. This is what we're gonna be working on in class today. Different numbers, new situation, but we will be applying and practicing this concept. Thanks so much.